Well, Brian, a lot of parents commenting on social media recently about this matter. Nowhere in this 33-page document, which we have up on our website, does it say how the district can support students with special needs. A concern as parents wait and see how trustees decide to address the issue. What are they going to, to do because my son struggles? Danielle Pierce worries about her eldest child, Christian, a rising CCSD freshman with special needs. My oldest has um, a neurocognitive delay. Requiring him to have an individualized education plan. My son really craves socialization. But Pierce questions his success at school this year with the current CCSD reopening proposal. My child cannot perform at the same level of his peers, and I will not have him being graded like that. We have to uh, find ways to support them. CCSD Superintendent Dr. Jesus Jara says the district is considering various options. One of the ideas and one of the things that we have on that Wednesday is for students to, you know, provide some small group instruction. Being live in the classroom is the best is the best option. I mean, Harry Quinney teaches special education at Kitty Ward Elementary School. Despite the district not specifically addressing special education students, she awaits what decisions CCSD makes. I wouldn't want to throw everybody back in into the classroom if it wasn't safe. All right, so tonight, of course, CCSD is looking at that. Dr. Jara says individualized education plans is something the district is, quote, ironing out. He wants something available for the board about this issue on July 9th. In the newsroom, Kristen Drummond, 8 News Now.